We're in the middle of the woods. The 100 hours starts now. Let's find the cave. Down this way, there's rumors of one. That's the problem. We don't know exactly where it is. No cell service. This is all we got to survive. Once we start going down the mountain, we need to go to the left, because that's where the cave was. Hopefully still is. That looks really steep that way. It is hard to balance carrying this giant backpack, water bottles. Oh, oh my. What's going on? Slippery rock. Oh. What does poison ivy look like again? I thought it's like three leaf. Here's a picture of it. So keep an eye out for that. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for that. Our game. That's the same game that I tried to bring on the survive with what you can carry video. And I dropped it then as well. Oh, oh dude, that's so far down there. You're stuck. Ah, ah, ah. It is actually 90 degrees here. So it's making it extra difficult, but we're gonna find this cave. Jeez. Getting close. Are we? You promise? I'm not even kidding. Oh! We're gonna try and find all sorts of cool things for you guys this episode, including crazy big bugs, hopefully mountain lions and bears. Huh? Nothing. There's a potential cave up ahead. Hey. I don't know if it's the right one or if it's gonna work. Oh. Um, get it. Ooh. No, it's okay. It's not a bad thing, but there's a bunch on you. What the heck is that, dude? <laughs> get that off. It's a freaking dude, caterpillar. Dude, look how many there's it. all over. Oh gosh, dude. Get it off. Are there any on me? Get it off. Are there any on me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Get it off of my shoulder! They're everywhere! Hit him off! What do I do? Flick it? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I thought really I was in King Kong for a second. <laughs> Remember the scene where the bugs so, start spawning oh, out of nowhere? Oh yeah. <laughs> that was the worst thing to turn around to. <sighs> How's it looking, Andrew? Don't go that way. It's caterpillar forest. What? <sighs> Why did we do this? Can you guys see that? Uh, dude, if he fell in my mouth. Oh! <laughs> Oh, he's ripping my head! Ah! He's on your back! Still there, he's he, ripping off. He bit me! He really chomped onto your shirt. What? Dude, why are we so scared of these caterpillars? You don't understand how intimidating this is, being in the middle of the woods. If he dropped a second earlier, he would've been in my mouth. Uh, what are we doing? I don't know. Ah! You okay? Just like in King Kong, you can get past the caterpillars. What's next? A uh, giant gorilla. Oh, mushrooms. We found our first mushroom. Dustin made a little cute little checklist on all the things he wanted to find in the woods. You guys see the checklist right here? We got mushrooms checked off. A bunch of other things we're still yet to find. Wild mushroom. Thank God. I told you. We have finally found the cave right behind us. We gotta do a caterpillar check. If I put my hand in my pockets and they're full of caterpillars. <laughs> Let's go uh, in the cave. Ugh. Lots of bugs. This is not what I pictured. I was picturing like a movie, like <clears throat> a picturesque cave, not well, a goblin's den. It seemed like he was bigger last time we were here. I'm gonna go see what this is like in here. Whoa, dude, it's so cold in here. Can you stand up in there? You can sit up perfectly fine, guys. Come in. Well, why don't we start getting our bags in here, getting everything set up nice and cozy. I'm just gonna lay here and die. <laughs> What? We're gonna sleep in here? Yes. For three nights? Yes. How do we go from like fun little bunkers in the warehouse to full survival Bear Grylls challenges? Drinking your own pee is truly unpleasant. This is actually kind of sick. Once you're in here, it's legit. Uh, it's definitely poop. We got lots of space over here to make a fire pit right there. It's really flat. If you could find a way to scoop out all the sticks and pine needles and pine cones and all the not so comfy stuff, that would, I think, help set up. Ow. A good survivalist always explores his surroundings. So I'm going to look outside, make sure there's not anything suspicious like a bear's den, because then we probably don't want to sleep here. If there's a bear's den in the area, we're already in it. <laughs> you brought food, right? That was your job? As you saw us venturing down the mountain, we had our own backpacks. We each were assigned a specific task. I was tasked with food, snacks, those sort of things. Isaac was tasked with fun games, entertainment while we're here. And Andrew brought all things comfort to keep us uh, cozy while we're in the cave. No! Oh, my game that I dropped. Earlier you said you'd go back for it. I didn't know how far away this place was. <laughs> I'm gonna go forage. Found something very exciting. In this area are wild strawberries. They haven't grown yet, but I say I can check that off the list that we have found. I just wish there were some here. I was really wanting a strawberry. I found this big flat rock, which I can use as like a hand scraper. So I'm gonna try to scoop out all the sticks and rocks and stuff. Since we're gonna be here for 100 hours, we need to make this place top notch, cozy, luxurious. Let's get doing chores. Isaac, would you rather dig our ground flat or be attacked by flies? What about both? Can I have both? No. no. One or the other. I'd rather dig the ground. We work cave explorers. It's so hard to dig in here when you can't stand up. Yeah, it really sucks actually. Is there a world where we're here for 100 hours and don't wake up to a mountain lion being like right there? I hope that's our world. No! 
What's on your shoulder? That was a mosquito that ate me. You see how much blood there is? Blasted it. Finally. It's crazy how just having a soft thing to sit on changes the vibes. Oh, man. It's actually pretty nice. Oh. Hey, who wants food? Me. We have beef kebabs, black garlic marinated. Let me go over the ways that we might die in this video. <laughs> there could be a mountain lion attack, bear attack. We could die of mosquito viruses. I've already probably got like 45 bites. Cross contamination uh, beef attack. But you know, I think it'll be all right. And then now that we have the raw beef, hopefully that spawns more mountain lions and bears. Look at this. Where the frick are the tongs? They're right there. I'm just gonna attract every bear and mountain lion in this county. <laughs> We're survivalists, guys. Get it off! <laughs> It's like we just caught this after a long day's hike and now we're ready to feast. Where are you hiding? <laughs> Today's lunch looks especially delicious. Especially delicious. These flies are gonna make me quit. <laughs> this is the worst part. So far. After a long hike down the mountain, this is really great. <laughs> he dropped it all over his pants. Now he has meat juice all over him. Oh. Mine definitely was gonna do, know that. Oh no! Let's see how this tastes. <laughs> He's dripping. <laughs> oh! Oh, I'm sick of this. I quit. You're literally dripping all over you. I'm going home. Yeah, you can't find your way home without us. You didn't think it would be this hard, did you? No, because I thought it would be a really nice cave by a river for some reason. When someone says 100 hours in a cave, why is your instinct to go, ooh, that sounds luxurious? Oh. From our vantage point up here, the terrain still goes down there. Maybe there's water or something because there are like an army of bugs. Potentially more caves. We haven't explored them yet. I don't know if we want to. I don't want to look like a spaz. It's just I can't do the touching, dude. It's the constant buzzing and tingly touches. Oh! How are you going to last? Yeah. I'm not. All the flying bugs decided to come out today and they keep running into our legs, arms, face. And it's like making us paranoid everywhere we go. It's like we can't just sit still. I think I have at least six mosquito bites at the moment. Look at this lake. There's bug bites, five bug bites. I have a bug right there. Scrapes. <laughs> Tomorrow we need an unlock. You know what? We're still na naturists. Ah! Ah! Anything down there? Ooh. There's snakes out here too, probably. I didn't think about that. Ah! What? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, oh, oh my God! <laughs> Play it! Jeez! I want to go home. <laughs> you want a caterpillar on your shirt? I don't mind the caterpillars anymore. They're almost like a breath of fresh air after the flies and mosquitoes. The only safe spot in this whole jungle is the cave. I'm not coming out unless I gotta go pee. I think we're gonna play like a relaxing game, whatever Game Master brought. Monster Moops! Oops, Monster Mashup. This is the game that we played during the Bunker 100 Hour Challenge, which was already so much better than this. Aha! The treasure. Ow. Ow. We put on our warmer gear and we're gonna start a fire here in the cave because we don't know how cold it's gonna get and it'll provide some nice light for us. We're also hoping that the fire, since it's up here on the upper platform of the cave, that the smoke won't go down to the sleeping area. Well, it's definitely already coming oh down to the sleeping area. Oh gosh, look, you can see it. Oh. Yeah, but if it's big. Oh gosh. Because we were hoping right here it'd be perfect, because look at that edge. <laughs> what the heck are we doing? Oh, it's going. Why are we lighting a fire inside of a cave? Cavemen did it all the time. They're fine. <laughs> no, they're not. They're all dead. <laughs> yes. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> ouch. Eyeballs, owie. <laughs> <laughs> what have we done? Once it gets roaring, maybe it's gonna start going up. My eyes are burning. My eyes! Did you at least bring marshmallows? No. Dude, yeah. Look at that. It's yeah, it's a good fire. This is sick. Isaac, let me see your finger. Give me your finger. <laughs> Justin and Andrew, for some reason, have the stinkiest farts tonight, and they both smell the same. We can't sleep if it keeps smoking like this. Is it smoky down there? Yeah. Is it better? Obviously, it's better than right next to the fire. Let me go check it out. Maybe you, you don't know. This. Maybe this is just what we needed to get rid of all the bugs. It's gonna <laughs> get rid of us, too. I think the bugs are smarter than we are. Like, oh, carbon monoxide, get out of that cave. You're making way more smoke. I'm trying to get it to stop. Shut it off. I can't. No more fires in the cave. I can't breathe. <laughs> Turn it off! I can't! You need water! I'm starting to feel sick. Carbon monoxide poisoning. I've never pooped in the woods before, nor did I ever want to. But I'm first to have to go, and so I'll be first to go. This whole video is gonna be you, Isaac Boy, becoming Isaac Man. <laughs> That's where you're gonna go poop? I can still see you. <laughs> what are you doing? You're supposed, to, you're supposed to go like more far into the woods where your campmates yeah. can't see you. Ah, ow. Don't go down the hill! Ow. Don't, don't miss it! <laughs> 
Oh, that wasn't a good spot. Okay, found a way better spot down there. It's really kind of not that much different than pooping in your toilet. There's just no little splash. Justin has been in the cave setting up some of the lights that we brought. They're all, I think, solar powered or battery lights. So they should be good to go. Hello oh, there. The cave is now lit. It looked pretty cool in there. Yeah. Behold, our first sunset at the cave. We still got a little blue flash of light color. Surprisingly, we've heard thunder and seen light, although it is not really thunderous weather. There could be a storm tonight. The cave we're in sort of is like in the middle of the ravine. So if there's a flash flood, we might just get washed away. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! No! Stop! This is ridiculous. What are we doing out here? Just so you guys know, we did put out the fire. That was a bad idea. Sorry, but we learned our lesson. The cave is no place for fires. I'm trying to figure out what's a good sleeping position. Maybe just like this. This rock is surprisingly comfortable, actually. It's a little past 10 o'clock now, so I think we're gonna try our best to go to sleep and see what happens. Night one in the cave begins. Morning, guys, the mosquitoes are back. Oh, they went on my nose. <coughs> Hi. This rock creates the perfect like recliner almost. There is an army of mosquitoes. We didn't bring any bug spray or Ow. anything. We fortunately did think to bring hoodies and pants. Yeah, I'm probably gonna wear my pants all day. I think that was kind of a mistake for yesterday. Justin's out for the count. <laughs> oh. Did you sleep all through the night? For the most part, yeah. You tell me you packed breakfast. Yes, of course. What did you pack? Coffee. Stop breakfast. <laughs> what is it? I also got bananas. So for breakfast we have coffee and bananas? Yeah. Yes, it's something. I can't believe we just did that once. Now we gotta do it two more times. So I have made a mistake. What now? I actually bought a coffee cup, but not coffee. <laughs> but to make up for that mistake, I forgot I actually bought cereal instead. So we have cereal with no milk and bananas. Well, that's all we have today, I guess. Good thing it's breakfast. This is the weirdest puff texture I've ever had. <laughs> we really messed up. Why are we here right now? Please give me a banana. I'm not really hungry. I just feel kind of sick and tired and sad. A banana will definitely cheer you up. <laughs> this is literally 10 times better than a cereal. How do you peel your bananas? I'll show you. Okay. Double. Airstrike! Help! Why are you holding like that? It's a POV. Humans always have dirty hip mitts. And so when you're out in the wild, you don't even have to touch the food you're eating. It's already got a little handle. Samuel told us that he had a supply drop for us that he put somewhere around our camp. We have no idea if it's down the hill more, up left, right, don't know. We have to find it though, because in that box are some good things. So we're gonna have to split up. We need to upgrade the cave the best we can because day one was pretty rough. It can only get better. It could get worse. Yeah. Every night we stay here, our eyes are getting attacked by a mountain lion and go up. Let's go find this box. I you're gonna go down. Ah, ah. You're gonna go down there. Andrew, you go up there. I'll go over there. If we don't see a box anywhere over there, then last place to check is up there. Right. My main question is, does Samuel try and help us out? Like he's like, oh, I'll put it right into their cave. Or do you say, I'm gonna screw him over as much as I possibly can. We get a little bit nervous whenever we decide to split up because a solo target is an easy target. Find anything yet? No! I feel like Samuel would have hidden it in a cool spot too. <gasps> it's gotta be in there. Gotta. Oh my gosh. What? I'm getting like kind of. What? I'm looking for something that will stand out. If Samuel put it in a box that blends in with the environment, then it's a lost cause. But I really want to spend a lot of time looking for this because he said there's good stuff in it. And we need to upgrade our fort. I'm tired of climbing this mountain. <laughs> It's trash, it's a balloon. Oh, it's not looking good, at least on this side. Isaac, you find anything yet? No! I What? I think the way we came down to the cave was this way a little bit, so I'm gonna search that way. Probably would have been a cool hiding spot for a box. So make sure it's not back here. There's a lot of spider webs in this one. Don't like spider webs. Oh, this one's cool though. It's like an overhang. You have to come back. <gasps> Why? I have to show you something. Let's go find out what Isaac is blabbering about. <laughs> I'm not coming back to see what you found. <laughs> the pants are off again, whoop de doo I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty scared now. What could you have found that's making you scared? Come follow me. No. Gosh! Pull me down the mountain! First rather. What the heck? Oh! That's what, what you found? Where's the rest of it? Dude. Oh my gosh. How unnerving is that? Something brought it here to eat it. Now look in this hole right there. What is that? That's really creepy. My heart stopped when I saw it. Look at this cave. What? Oh, what did that say? I didn't even look at that. You guys stayed in here before? Are these your chairs? Yeah. What the <laughs> heck? Is that your 
thing no. we brought here? No, we, we didn't, didn't bring that. that. What is that? I don't know. Literally, this what? Is Remember when we, when we were coming down, we said, why don't we go to the first cave that we built? This is the first cave. What? <laughs> You've been punked. We've done several videos in this mm. fort, and actually you, uh, several of you have been to this exact spot. Proof of the, the board. It's almost like a geocache board. Look at this. Yeah, guest logs. All the way back to 2018. Your Minecraft pig is now our hostage. Email us to get it back. Email us. <laughs> I thought some psycho was living out here. <laughs> the lion's what scared me the most. So whoever put that here, great job, because you actually pranked Isaac. Yeah, that got me good. Guys, it's starting to rain, and we still haven't found the upgrade box. Our cave's down there. So we've explored all this area, and if we can't find it over here, then we're just gonna have to deal with what we got. <laughs> don't, don't move. Do not move. He's an inchworm formation. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? There's no way I have five on <laughs> Look. What? I'm honestly starting to love the caterpillars. Get them off. They're becoming like my friend. And the caterpillars are funny when they're on someone else. <laughs> the rain is coming down. We've been searching through these woods for so long. I'm tired of searching, Grandpa. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too bad! Oh, what the heck? Why does it smell all weird? Wait, isn't that a sign of Sasquatch? No. You're right. Oh. Stand right there and just take a big smell. What's that smell? <laughs> the Sasquatch guy told us that when you have very strong smells like that, if Sasquatch is near. He did say that. Did he really? Yes, not even joking. Jackson saw a Sasquatch on this mountain. Stay armed, fellas. We don't know what's around the corner. There's a lot of Hershey's chocolate. Whoa, oh, gosh. Andrew! Guys, are you what? okay? I don't know what the fuck. What, no way. What? what? Oh, yes. yes. If you find a geocache today, you will get more gear tomorrow from the construction ears. We hit the jackpot. Yeah, it's pretty heavy, dude. There must be some good stuff in here. Yeah, if it was light, I'd be kind of mad. Let's get this back to camp and see what we just unlocked. Oh, I can't believe we found it. I was starting to think we wouldn't. I'm so exhausted. <laughs> oh. So sweaty. We got to conserve our energy and, and fluids bodily. Bodily. <laughs> fluids bodily. Oh, dude. Bagels. Yes. Coffee. The coffee you forgot. Yes. Oh, dude, we got after bite. We've already got bin we're going to use. <laughs> yes. More bites. Some little candies. These are like mosquito repellents. Mosquito wipes. Quick wipe myself. Citronella scented candle. This is looking to be just what we needed. Oh, dude. Oh, what? Oh, mosquito Sammy net. Skill. Samuel's a legend. Bear spray. You know, these are all the things that we should have brought the first time. We're lighting this candle. But now that we got this, bugs should be literally being deleted. Don't message me how toxic this is. I don't care. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do is set up this mosquito net and see how effective it is. This makes me feel so much safer from everything. Mosquitoes, bears, cougars. Take that, bears. <laughs> okay, we have the mosquito net kind of set up. We're seeing if we all fit. Oh, we could for sure have dinner and breakfast and, oh, and stuff in here. This oh is my. kind of a vibe. Dude, look at it. You can even see the mosquitoes on the outside of the net. They can't get in here. You hear that, mosquitoes? You're done for. Bite me if you dare. I'm feeling in way better spirits today. You just gotta embrace the suck. That's what it's all about. Like Marines. That's what we are. And we're identical to Marines. Ah, my eye. Oh, what are you doing? Falling. Oh my god! <laughs> I want to go home. It is time for dinner, and we got some good food with our special supply crate drop. This is a propane tank. We need oh. a butane tank to go right here. This don't fit. Oh. Don't lose hope. We can still have a grill. But we just got that grill. We're gonna have to tell Samuel he did messed up. It's okay, man. We can still cook the glizzies. I just wanted something nice. If I sleep like last night again, I might have to quit. Don't say the Q word. I mean, I might have to give up. Don't say the G word. <laughs> I have to ski daddle. Don't say that. And for dinner, Kobe beef, hot dogs. And some chips and dip. Way better than breakfast, huh? Dinner is served, gentlemen. Oh. POV taking a bite of sausage. Mm. POV, you split your last sausage with Justin Stewart. <laughs> I love you, Justin Stewart. Why? It's getting pretty dark now. And there's a couple things we have to do before bed. One of them is our trash. We gotta take it far off into the woods, hang it up in a tree somewhere so the bears don't come to our cave. There's so much rope. Oh, crag. Oh, <laughs> that'll work. Oh, gosh. Tree falls over. Andrew tumbles downhill. This is the worst. We got the trash bag attached to a tree away from campsite. If we hear a tree crash, that's definitely a bear climbing this, trying to get the trash. If we hear that, do we run? We say, go bear. No, we definitely don't say anything. What? Yeah, you have to scare black of, bears. Of loud sounds. I'm not going to say anything until I see him. So if you start sprinting, he's going to be like, who? Dinner. Back to camp. Where is camp? Camo tarp. Then we can conceal the entrance. I have worn more clothes in hopes to not get many more mosquito bites. I have a minimum of four new bites. There's one right in the middle of your forehead. I know. It's really starting to make me angry. You're making me angry. 
Whoa. It worked. It worked. This is very helpful because I remember last night having the big gaping black hole right in front of your face is very unnerving. To at least have one of the entrances blocked off definitely gonna make me feel a little more at ease tonight. Maybe I'll sleep. He's upgraded the cave. So we got the front tarp cover right there. The only way in is over there. Well, over here. Right. And up there. <laughs> Dang it. He has quite a few ways still. The weirdest sight ever. <laughs> 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 oh, you farted again. You're making fun of me. You can't deny it when it smells that bad. Set up. We are all laying down in our new bed setup. Oh, dude. Already better. And we have one other feature. Big old mosquito net. This is great. Because you can still breathe like you're not. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nice. That means the spider's not going to crawl into my mouth. That was my biggest concern. This is how it's oh, going to be tonight. We'll see you guys in the morning. I just like keep hearing things outside the cave. I don't know if it's something. I don't know what it is. Could be just deer, squirrel, or something. Hmm? Justin. What? Did you hear that? No. Oh, I just woke up. My heart's racing so fast. What was that? I'm so scared. What? Shh. Don't turn the light on. Don't turn the light. Ow. Why would want the light to scare it? I don't know. It depends what it is. I don't hear it anymore. I can't go to sleep now. There's no chance. There's no way I'm falling back asleep, dude. I'm staying up all night till, till. Good morning. Another awful night's sleep. I am ready to get out of this cave. Did I sleep good? No. I am excited for today's breakfast because we got new supplies in our loot crate box. Bagels, bacon, coffee, bug bite. Almost on my butt. Whoa. That was the worst night's sleep of my whole life. Got the water boiling and we got these uh, little coffee pods. This is the best smell outside in the morning. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Oh, gosh. Oh, you almost made us fall. <laughs> I'm holding a hot cup of coffee. Oh, soggy bagels. <coughs> POV, you're eating a cream cheese bacon bagel with Andrew Sykes. Mmm. Wow. Game plan for today is to find the geocache so we can unlock another supply crate, and then we're going to make a hike to a local lake down the mountain to try and fish so we can catch some more food, because we're survivalists. <laughs> Out of all the times to catch a fish, it should be now. If we don't catch a fish with all of this supplies, then we are useless fishermen. What's the best route down, Commander? We're never gonna find this lake. <laughs> Wait, here's the update, guys. We are barreling in close to a geocache, currently 170 feet away. If we can get this geocache, we'll unlock another loot drop for tomorrow. If we don't get that, we're toast. Right up here somewhere. Oh, back up the hill, eh? Yeah. <laughs> 20 feet. Look, it literally says two feet away. What? We're right on it. Rocks would think would be a good spot. Definitely on the rocks. Any luck? No. Come on, we're so close. Just find it and we get the supply drop. There's so many little crevices in the rocks. I don't know why it's not just like in there. You guys already know how hard it is to find geocaches sometimes. Sometimes they're easy, sometimes they can be in plain sight and you can't find them. And the thing is they can move because of weather and storms. My app is like glitching out. It says now I'm like 20 feet away, even though I didn't really go anywhere. I'm not good at finding things. Go stick your hand in this hole. Ah! Jeez! Oh, I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, you still got scared though. Uh, I don't think it's here, dude. This sucks. You know, there's a chance that it's not even here anymore and it's just on the app. That's what I'm guessing. You're not supposed to do that. What's stopping someone from taking taking it? Are we officially giving up? Yes. That definitely makes finding the lake way more important because we need food. We have our first natural water. Oh, yes. So cool. Since we're near this little river, there should be a lake. So we're gonna follow the river to the lake. Onward! Hope is restored. Look behind me. We found a gigantic lake. We're gonna catch fish. Let's go. Yes, well, careful. There's no chance we don't catch a fish, right? Guys, wild goose. Check that off the list. That's sick, dude. That was on your list. Hey, careful. Whoa. Hey! Whoa. <laughs> You're going in? Whoa. Yeah, man. <laughs> dude, they're fast. Oh. How does it feel? I feel so good. Oh. That was sick. Isaac, why aren't you coming in? So I have a big open wound, so I'd rather not get in this water. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I feel so refreshed. Let's catch a fish. Yes. Andrew and Justin made me bring this along. Yeah, we got it in our supply crate box. This giant inflatable two-person chair that we could bring out on the lake if fishing on the shore isn't working. Watch out. Watching. I'm gonna try and catch a minnow with this little net that we got. 
Ah, rats. I'm stuck. I'm falling forward. Help me. Ah, grab my foot. There's a fallen tree here in the water, so I'm gonna go out on it to get a better vantage point. Ooh, perfect cast. I don't wanna fall in the water. Unfortunately, uh, no luck yet. The tackle box we got didn't come with any really good bait. All it came with are these like little gooey worms. Fish ain't gonna bite on that. Got some minnows for you. Let me see. Live bait, baby. You got one? I think. Really? Oh, yeah, well. I got a snag. I got excited for a sec. Oh, we're not having much luck out here. Watch me get one first cast. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> What? While we're down here, I also brought one of my activities. I brought a fingerboard and also this gold bar that I found in the garage. Guys, the official J Stu fingerboard is for sale right now on jstuShop.com. So if you want to get one of these bad boys, link in the description. Make sure you guys do some tricks and tag us on Instagram and we'll repost some of yours. But these things are epic. Oh! What the heck? I'm headed out into the lake. Where's my fishing pole? <laughs> That was kind of wet. Yeah. Why is this so wet? I thought there were going to be seats, not just water holes. I thought there were seats, not water holes. I thought there were going to be seats, not water holes. Oh, this is way better. You've already been out here for over an hour and a half. No luck yet. You're running into a tree. <laughs> I haven't even seen like a big fish at all. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. You better return to shore. Oh no. Return to shore, hurry. Oh gosh, I can feel it getting lower and lower. Oh. Here. Oh. Oh. Hey, all the big fish are probably scared now after that. Ah. Dude, the, biggest minnow, the biggest minnows are over here. Well guys, it's safe to say we didn't catch any fish hey. and uh, hey, hey, hey. well, hey, hey, hey. Isaac caught two minnows. We're gonna head back to camp. I kind of forgot about the cave for a while. Yeah, Exa perfect. That's exactly what we want. Let the hike back begin. This is going to suck. Now we're just chilling outside here in the mosquito net. I got a special prize for us, a little dessert to celebrate our hard work. POV, you're taking a blackberry from Justin Stewart. <laughs> oh, thanks, Justin. It's interesting what animals come out at night to hunt. And no. <laughs> oh, how much food do we have left? Bread. We really don't have much at all, so enjoy these blackberries and keep a positive mental attitude. It could be worse. But it could also be better. I had a weird dream about aliens last night. That's the last thing I was worried about, but now that you say it, that'd be crazy. Bring it on. I think we've had enough fun sitting in the tent Oh, so at night. much fun, dude. Eating blackberries. You think what I'm thinking? Cave. Whoa! Whoa! What was that? Dude, that was a mega skeeter. Oh, oh, what, the what, was what was that? What is that? I want to go home. Go? Can we please go home? Can we go home right now? You want to hike no. up the hill in the dark? It's pitch dark outside now. I got to poop and there's probably villains outside. You have to go poop right now. Why'd you get all the way in yes. the cave and then now decide that you have to Why didn't you go when it was still light out? You're not allowed to poop in the cave, that's for sure. That wasn't one of the rules. Dude, good luck. Don't let a cougar bite you on the butt cheek. If I see any eyeballs in the woods, I'll let you know. Yeah, this is a pretty good spot here, I guess. The stars look really cool. That's nice. Any eyeballs? No. All right. Are you okay? And so the most nervous poop I've ever done. We still have one more whole day and night. We have no food left. Just don't talk about that. I love you guys. <sighs> ah, the amount of times I've said that in videos and you never say it back. <laughs> oh well. This is probably my least favorite part of the night is when the lights go off. It's all kind of fun and games and then we turn them off and then... There's a giant bug. Huh? Holy schmuck. What? Look, he's on the rock. Oh, it's just a beetle. Oh, what's grabbing me? <laughs> okay, good night, guys. Uh, uh, That's it. I don't know if I can do another night. All we have is this day, another night in the cave, and then the morning and that's the end. Do we really want to torture ourselves, fellas? I'm starting to feel sick every day. Not enough food, not enough sleep. The bugs, the cave. Put your hand up if you want to go home. We don't normally do this. We usually always see through the challenges, but this one has been a different beast. The cave has <laughs> conquered us. But we did our best, and we hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want lu luxury mansion challenge, leave a like. Oh, yeah. And subscribe for more fun survival content. We'll see you next time.